the long multi wagon China Rail Express pulls out of your Rumshi station. For the next 20 or so hours, we'll be travelling in the train across the deserts of Xinjiang, located in China's far west, as we travel to Kashgar. Leaving the Rumshi, we'll very quickly find ourselves travelling through a desert landscape. I was particularly surprised at how much use was being made of the desert landscape. For instance, there were numerous wind generators slowly turning in the breeze. And of course, there was the contrast from the arid landscape in the foreground to the majestic snow-covered mountains in the background. For this train trip, we are travelling in soft sleeper class. Our compartment is located on the upper floor of the carriage and to our surprise is only a two bunk compartment. And that's a pleasant change to the four berth soft sleepers we've had on previous trips. Suddenly in the desert we came across a whole complex of industrial plants. Whatever the plants were being used for, they were certainly surrounded by a high security fence with watchtowers on the corners. We wondered if the plant was still being constructed, if it was in use, or was it abandoned? station for the city of Turpan. Turpan is really about 49 kilometers away, but this is the closest railway station. We had an interesting few minutes watching boarding passengers racing around, checking out where their particular carriage was. Because of the length of the train, the passengers often had quite a distance to go to reach the right carriage. We're off again and we appear to be going in the reverse direction, but we quickly realise that although the engine has swapped ends, we are in fact going out on a different line. We're heading for Kashgar. Looking out at the desert landscape, we notice a variety of boxes, of fences and various devices used to try and create a patch of vegetation which will help hold the sand from drifting onto the railway lines. Ah, oh, you got your little one going. 
time to try out my matchbox sized action cam and to check out some of the other tour group members. And it's interesting the way the little camera produces a curvature in the picture. And more tour members. One demonstrates the use of the fold down seat in the corridor. We wondered about the white covering on the top of the soil. We decided in the end that it could be salt. Left behind after extensive evaporation of irrigation waters. And that could be a reason why the settlements that we were passing seemed to be abandoned. Going through the desert we often passed impressive modern highways. Not always a lot of traffic on them though and what we did see was often trucks. And surprisingly in the desert, a lake. Toilet facilities were on the lower floor and what we thought was the western toilet was always locked and the squat toilet was well best undescribed. Wherever there was water located in the desert there was sure to be agriculture. I'm not sure what station this was, but we stopped long enough to disembark. And like some of the other tourists on board, it was a chance to take photographs. And what an amazingly long train it was. Off again we notice that much of the agriculture is based around the growing of grapes. Because this is a Muslim area of China, most of the grapes here will be dried for raisins. But there is some local wine making, some of which we sampled for scientific research of course. All the wine tended to be sweet or semi-sweet. And we decided that currently it is not a threat to other wine producing nations. into Kashgar and it's time to disembark. Our long 20 hour plus journey is coming to an end. The journey wasn't too uncomfortable and the scenery was interesting. There was just a lot of it. It was easy to find our way out of the station just follow the crowd and the tour leader.
One advantage of being on an organised peregrine tour was that we could just walk past all the eager taxi drivers and head for our bus. Kashka, uh, finally. So uh, from train stations to hotel, it takes like 20 minutes. So we'll be stay at the Chinibag Hotel, which is the all the British Council inside. So first uh, we go into hotel and check in. So whole part of Kashgar is population is 4 million people. In the town of Kashgar is 450,000 people. Almost this Muslim town, Sunni Muslim. And this town is very quiet, very peace. It was encouraging to hear that this was a peaceful city. But perhaps the police didn't know that, for there were certainly plenty of them around on patrol and heavily armed. And that's one of the remaining parts of the centuries old city. We'll visit there tomorrow. It seems to have been retained for tourism purposes. And now up to our room and hopefully a hot shower.